Welcome to MoneyWorks. In this short video, we'll introduce you to the navigation within MoneyWorks so that you can get familiar with where everything lives. We'll also enter a transaction to get you started with the basics. And once you get up and running, you'll find everything is intuitive, fast, and with easy access to all your data. When you fire up MoneyWorks, you'll see four options at the bottom. Here we can download a PDF that walks you through the basics of MoneyWorks, open a sample company, download a full PDF manual, or set up your own company from scratch. For now, let's select the sample icon, which gives us access to a dummy data file that we can play around with. This takes us to the welcome screen. Don't worry if you see something slightly different to what we have here, as MoneyWorks remembers where it was last left. MoneyWorks has three key visual elements. The first is the navigator, which can be found in the sidebar on the left of the screen. MoneyWorks Navigator is designed to represent the process flows in a typical business. The main functional areas are represented by the icons in the left sidebar of the window. Clicking on one of these gives access to the appropriate operations. Although there are faster ways in MoneyWorks to enter or access information, the Navigator is a good place to start. The second element are the icons within each area. You'll see that MoneyWorks is very visual. When you land in the process area, such as cash and banking, the relationships between the functional elements are easy to see. The third are lists. When you click on many of the icons, you open up a list view. Lists are a powerful way to manage your information, and when combined with search, mean all your data is at your fingertips and it is really fast to find what you're looking for. If we click on the overview area in the dashboard section, we get a real-time snapshot of the company's financial health. You can set up as many reports as you want to, Powerful reporting is a key feature within MoneyWorks. But for now, let's enter our first transaction. For this, we'll go to the day-to-day -day area. A panel showing the common daily workflow for most organisations is displayed. This includes the sales, purchasing and cash handling activities that are common to most businesses. As you move the mouse over various icons in the navigator, each will highlight, indicating that something will happen should you click on the icon. If you hover the mouse for a couple of seconds, a short tooltip will be displayed to further explain what happens if you click. So let's say we spent $100 on pens. To enter that, we head on over to our payments icon and click the plus button, which will send us straight to the right place to add a new payment. The reference field is highlighted already. We're happy with this one, so we'll tab on over to enter the date. Once we've entered the date, we tab to the to field and type stationery, which brings up our supplier. In the description field, we type pens, and then 100 for the price. Unlike a manual cash book, you can have as many detail lines as you want. A detail line has already been created for us. We begin typing the account code, or if we don't remember it, the name. Then we press tab. When you tab out the field, the name of the account, in this case stationery, appears in the next column. So we can check we're using the right account code. Note that our sample file uses 7240 as the code for stationary expenses, but in practice, you can use whatever code you like. At this point, the transaction is complete. MoneyWorks has automatically inserted the amount for us. MoneyWorks has calculated the tax on the transaction, which is automatically localised for each country. Let's click the OK button to close the entry window and save the payment. And now we're back in the day-to-day -day area, and if we go into Payments we see our new transaction right at the top. And that's how you add a transaction in MoneyWorks. For more videos on how to work with MoneyWorks, please head on over to our website or check out our YouTube channel.